So we're gonna check out this 65 inch 4K UHD touchscreen. And I'm gonna talk about first kind of like the hardware components to it and then we'll go into more detail in a little bit. Uh, what I like about it, like I said, it's this nice big 65 inch screen. It's got vivid color. Uh, like I said, it's 4K UHD touchscreen. It's got a nice camera up here, 20 megapixel camera. And it is a dual system. It does have uh, a Windows 10 system and also has a Android 8.0 system as well. And uh, I'll talk about a little bit of features of that in a little bit as we go along. So let's check out some more about this touch screen as we go through this. So this is the home screen when you first turn it on. It'll upload to this and I'll go over here. You can adjust the brightness of the monitor. This is also the sound as well. So that's pretty easy. Uh, Multi-purpose section right here. You've got your wireless, Bluetooth, hotspot. Uh, you can also choose a, a network that's a physical network if you want. And over here, you've got uh, lots of uh, options to choose the different settings within the system. you got the whiteboard setting, projection setting, document setting, and then you have the more app setting, which you can go to the Play Store and download some apps. So I download some of these apps through there, and they play just fine. And so uh, I'm going to go in more detail with some of these, uh, in, some of this information so you can see how it works. So let's go on this whiteboard feature here. And as you can see, it's uploading. And this is kind of a dark graph here, but I can also change the background if I want. I can go over here to the menu, pick a background, pick a color, pick a design, and then it can change to something like this if you want. I can also have a multi-touch uh, type of screen uh, setup. And I can put in different shapes if I want, uh, different colors, you know, just kind of do my various activities on this whiteboard, whatever I want to do. So it's definitely a, a great way if I do graphs or different things like that. And again, if I want to just erase it, I can actually just use the back of my hand to erase anything that I put on it. So that's nice. And then of course, uh, if I want to do split screen, it does have that option. See, I started on the uh, uh, split screen before, so that's something that it has as well. And then you can save whatever you want into a thumbnail. Otherwise, you can cancel it out and then go on to your next feature. So that's like kind of the whiteboard setup. And again, there's lots of different options. You can pick different colors when you're in here when you're drawing or making shapes so that's really nice you can do some ruler compass protractor options so that's great as well and i can swipe like this and uh, usually with that you can come over here and get to other options as well so you can come back to the whiteboard that way so we've closed all of that. So now we're going to check the projection section. Next. So we have this projection section here. And as you go in, I'm not showing all the screens because it does have my some wireless casting and private information. But there's a, a QR code you can scan from your phone scanner, and it'll show up in your phone as options to log in and be, be able to mirror cast uh, options to project what's on your phone to the screen. So that's nice. And uh, also, it has this document section, so when you go in here, uh, if you download anything onto this, uh, it does have, like I said, a, a 32 gigabyte total local disk drive available to house any type of files here. And it's just like a computer, it does have different, diff different options for downloads, ringtones, alarms, and, you know, Android information pictures, so just like a computer, it does have all that. And then, like I said, over here, again, I showed the more app section, but there's different things in here that you can use. You can go into settings and make some adjustments to the system. Like if you want to have like a sound mode, like a movie sound mode, you could do that. And then there's different menus here. So it's real nice. And then there along here, there's some wallpaper options you can choose if you want. So I can set, uh, I have it as a, this right here, so I can change it if I want and set that as a wallpaper. So lots of great options in this section as well. I'll change the wallpaper and then uh, we'll check out a little bit more about the hardware when it comes to how to hook up to this monitor to use it for other devices as well. All right. and so it does come with uh, a couple of these stylists here. So when I'm 
uh, going on to the whiteboard mode, I could use this instead of my hand to just draw on if I want, which that's nice. And of course, just erase with my hand, which is really nice. Um, also, I have some ports up here, whether it's a touch port, a touch port uh, HDMI port, which is one in the front. There's also one in the back as well. And then a couple of USB uh, ports so I can power up, which I have a device here. Uh, it, you, I did have to get a, a HDMI splitter for it to work uh, because the HDCV guidelines them. But otherwise, when I hooked it up, I was able to play it through this little system here and watch movies. So it's really got a lot of great options, a lot of great features. Um, I'm very impressed with not only the touch screen option, uh, but also when it comes to the whiteboard, but also I can go into a source menu and I can actually get into the Windows 10 section. And then, so I can go in here and it shows here just like I would see on a computer. So I went in here and downloaded like Hulu, but I can get into, you know, Google Chrome, my, uh, Microsoft Edge. So, I mean, it just works uh, really great, really fast, really quick, like a computer. I can scroll, I can search, I can look up websites and I do have this remote so I can actually use that instead of be up here, you know, reaching on the screen for long periods of time. And the remote works great. It turns up the volume, does many different things as well as switch through these modes, just like I'm doing up here, you know, with my hand. So, I mean, overall, it's just a great, way to uh, do various activities, various uh, things that I can do, whether it's internet, whether it's watching movies, whether it's in a meeting and Zoom calling somebody in a meeting. So it's really great. All right, so here's the setup with my Roku. Got it hooked up from my Roku uh, to this HDMI 2.0 splitter. Any type works, but it actually allows you to bypass the HDCP uh, screen that comes up and it won't let you watch a movie. So. After hooking all this up and hooking it from the splitter to the HDMI, I can go into Netflix and it works like a charm. I can watch movies and don't have to worry about anything blocking it. So I love it, it's versatile. I can watch movies if I want. I can do work on it if I want. It's got great sound. It's got two speakers here on each side that have great quality sound.